does you guys make up for the for the absent knowledge of KP but when you lost Maxi so early? Um, no, I think we just um, first and foremost just wanted to play a lot uh, play a lot better start to start the game. Um, no matter who was out there on the floor, um, Coach Kid always talks about next man up. Um, there's going to be situations like that throughout the course of the season. So when one man's down, uh, the next guy, um, when his number's called, is just as ready as that guy that started. So uh, I think uh, uh, Reggie, whoever came in for uh, Maxi, played a great job. Did a great job of, of uh, just keeping that t intensity and uh, playing on both ends of the floor, and um, we came out with the win. You're off to a real nice shooting start this year, uh, and that hasn't really uh, been contagious yet. Yeah, <laughs> but, but I appreciate. Uh, how, how good was it to see uh, Luca have a little Luca magic there uh, at a time when you needed it on, on in that game? It was great. Um, I mean, Luca's coming into his own right now. Uh, it's, it's always tough, especially with the new rules and new situations uh, that the uh, how the game is played and. Uh, uh, kind of reminds me of uh, me watching my dad play when he was uh, in the 90s. Uh, they're not really calling much, so uh, a lot of those ticky tech fouls, uh, a lot of the star players aren't getting. So just got to go out there and just hoop, play like if you're playing an open run and, and uh, play through contact, play through fouls, and I think that's what he's starting to get a nice feel for. And um, once he has that thing going towards the end of the season, I'm not end of the season, but end of the game, uh, it's, it's kind of hard to stop. Brad? Not a huge sample size, but uh, at the end of the regular season last year, you guys won your last four home games. You've won your first three to start this year. Don't Do you feel us. like you're getting a little, uh, maybe getting a little traction at home, whereas you know in the past you started a little bit. Yeah, beginning of the season, Joe, Coach Kidd uh, knows that we weren't as good of a, of a home team uh, as we were last year. You know, uh, versus away. So um, when when you can win a lot of home games and win as much as away games like we did last year, um, you're going to turn out having a really, really good uh, season. So we just want to make sure we do a great job of making sure that when guys come in here, uh, it's not going to be easy. And we just wanted to make sure we put our foot down and and bring that intensity on both ends of the floor uh, to show them that, you know, we mean business when we're at home as well. Is, is there a team-wide sentence that you guys haven't shot as well as, like, the yeah. shooting's coming? Yeah, we know. Well, I mean, as a team, we know. As, right. uh, so, um, but we know offense is not going to carry you, and defense is going to carry you, whether you're home or away. And uh, I think we've uh, we've done that uh, for the most part so far, uh, excluding the last game in Denver. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think defensively we, we've been doing a great job, especially going out there communicating, um, having each other's back, and – Definitely knowing uh, personnel when we step on the floor. What's that feeling? Uh, just like, oh, these things are going to go down eventually. Is that a relief or confidence or, or? I mean, it's just breaking the ice. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, you break the ice, see a couple shots go down for everybody. Um, and when you got everything clicking on all cylinders, uh, uh, it makes the game a lot of fun. But it's fun, too, when you're out there getting stops on defense and getting easy baskets. Uh, Kevin? Kevin Gray, 105 Good Fan. Tim, how important is it to turn the page quickly after a tough loss in Denver, be able to grind one out at home and to get back kind of a winning track, especially the way you guys performed defensively tonight? Well, yeah, I think it's easy to do that when um, the team you're playing against uh, beat you three straight times last year. Uh, we, we knew that coming into the game today, and uh, uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. They, they took care of business every single time they played us last year. So we just wanted to do a great job of putting our foot down and get into a great start uh, to start the game, and that's what we did. Cool. Thanks, Tim. Happy Halloween, Eric. All right. Um, who wants to start us off with questions? Hey, Jason. Is there anything you can add on Maxie's injury? Uh, out of my pay grade. <laughs> so um, I think it's his back, but I don't have any updates. Gotcha. As a coach, how do you process when Luca hits a 30-foot or 35-foot shot like that? Great recovery, um, and then good offense uh, by a good player. Uh, it was a big time shot um, with the clock running down, um, but I think we all know he has that type of range. Uh, it was a big basket too, because if I recall, I think that's the only three he made, so it was, it was needed. At a time like that, did you need something like that? Uh, maybe a little Luka Magic pulling out on Halloween? <laughs> 
Well, we need, you know, I thought on Halloween, why not start off fast and we started off great. Mm -hmm. And so um, hopefully we can build on that uh, in the first quarter. Uh, but uh, again, our defense to hold one of the top 10 teams in offense to 99 points um, is something that those guys take pride in. And so uh, that our defense again gave us an opportunity to, to win here at home um, against a team that can, can put up points in a hurry. So um, again, as much as we like the, li the wide open looks that we're getting on the offense, they're going to fall. Um, but again, that, that start that just shows the character that we have in that locker room, that they, they paid attention to detail and we got off to a good start. Uh, Neil McKeon is mostly known for his defense, but when he replaced Luca late in the third quarter, he gave you guys a nice offensive look. Yeah, you know, I think um, everyone gets labeled in this league um, for whatever reason, but Frank's a basketball player. And uh, he's not just a defensive player. He can, you know, put the ball in the basket. He can play make, um, and he's shown that he can shoot the three. And in that stretch, he, he did all of that um, in the sense of being able to run the offense. Uh, he's been able to play with LD or JB, so it just shows that he's not just a point guard, but he can play off the ball. Um, we, we will highlight his defense is good. <laughs> um, but. You look at the things that he's given us offensively has been been great, and that just shows that he's working extremely hard. And you know, when you look at the rotation, you have to play him. Jason, obviously, you didn't have KP, but when you lose a, a Maxi so early in the game, what does that do to your interior defense? Um, well, I think uh, all the smalls get excited because they all feel they get a chance to play. So, um, understanding that Sacramento's not a big team. Um, so the small Sterling and those guys, uh, Reggie, um, you know, Frank, everybody's going to have to participate and help. And I thought, inter you know, being able to rebound the ball uh, was something big for us being small out there. And so um, we, we don't want to play like that all the time. But understanding that sometimes in this league injuries happen and guys have to step up and those smalls and mediums stepped up today. All right, we'll move over to um, Zoom, Kevin. Kevin Gray, one of the fans, Jason, you guys outscored the Kings 13 to 1 pass, great points, and converted 20 points off to 13 turnovers within them. How important was that to get out and transition to be able to convert, especially capitalize off those turnovers there? Yeah, I think we talked about it as a, as a uh, game plan. Um, understand that Zach is going to, they're coming, you know, Hallen Bird and Fox are going to come, they're going to push, and they were going to test our transition defense. So I thought the guys did a great job of getting back. And then, on the other side of that is on misses. Um, I think we set the tone with the home run, Luca to DP, to, to be able to play faster, to look ahead, to throw ahead is something that we've kind of got away from. So um, I thought that was, you know, that helped us get off to a good start is being able to turn a rebound into a, you know, fast break uh, with that home run pass. But then also we just continue to build on that. Last one, Landon. Landon Thomas, Mass Fans for Life. Coach, uh, Sacramento averaged 111 points per game heading into this contest. Your team holds them to 99. Can you elaborate your thoughts on how the team played defensively? Uh, specifically, Harrison Barnes and De'Aaron Fox scoring a total of 29 points, shooting 31%. Yeah, I think uh, we, we talked about it as a group. Uh, they're, one of, they're top 10 in offense. And I uh, said it earlier, to hold a, a team that's top 10 under 100 points, that, that means you're, you're paying attention to detail on the defensive end, and they executed the game plan. Um, we know that Buddy can get off threes anywhere. Uh, he got a couple off there late. Uh, we paid attention to the details of trying to take away the three and making it hard on those guys. I, I said it before the game, Harrison Barnes is playing at a high level, and uh, we just tried to make it tough on him today. Cool, thanks. Thanks. All right, Tim's on the way.